TG makes an industrial horror setting. Vast swaths of the planet are covered in massive, towering industrial factories. These factories act as cities and working stations. People are swept up in meaningless but grueling jobs to do on a day-to-day basis. Just sounds normal. Honestly, <laughs> it's not. It's just China. Give China, give, give China a more dystopian yeah, it's, outlook. It's and any that's... major city, though. <laughs> yeah. People sometimes escape into the wildlands or to small communities between slash inside of the machinery of these massive factories. Produce is done to create products that go to nameless consumers and are bankrolled by alien benefactors. I was in this thread, I really enjoyed it. I haven't seen TG do a genuine, really great world building thread in a fair bit. And yeah. I kind of don't want to do Kimmers for just one week. <laughs> so I thought this would be a great one. It's really good. It's really interesting. I really wish this setting or this idea was more popular. So like, let's just get into this one, will yeah. we? Out of the billions of citizens, virtually all are confined to windowless cells, which are their bedroom, bathroom and workstation. China again. <laughs> Entire families live in these rooms. The doors unopened for centuries. China. <laughs> they have pale gaunt <laughs> skin and features, and know hardly any language except for the contents of their work manual. China. <laughs> <laughs> any suggestions of an alternative to this life is met with panic, confusion, and psychotic rage. They cannot be helped. See, that's where it gets interesting. That's more North Korea. That is actually more North Korea. What I find when it comes to a lot of these horror settings, like, you know, 1984, shit like that, what it is for me is it's a way it blends the mind of the average human. Yeah. Where, you know, the whole concept of long think and stuff like that. Yeah. And they just can't break out of that system. Mm-hmm. That's why I think, like, the Matrix did such a good job. We're like, oh, take, take the red pill. You know what I mean? Even though that meme is... Farly, far, far overused. Or overused. But it is a great example of yeah. that, you know? As the factory started growing, they pulled in people who were looking for food, shelter, or just a better life. Towns and cities were abandoned as the population fled to the growing industrial centres. Some of the old cities still remain, decayed but still standing. The ones that were far enough away from an existing factory were lucky enough to avoid being bulldozed for land or strip mined for materials. But these cities aren't exactly empty. Ooh. Ooh. Top 1% that created factories do not exist anymore. Factories and corporations have owners only on paper. Urban legends tell of abandoned skyscrapers where old bots still defend rights of ownerships. And sometimes boys go out to search it. And most of the time they find death. Or in some rare cases, being repurposed as frame for another crude self-replicating bot. See, I always love them because I always think of servitors in 40k mm. and I really wish servitors were used more because I think that's one of the most grim dark things in 40k. The only other... I mean, like <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> no, but the only other like example of servitors I can think of in like popular science fiction would probably be the Borg from Star Trek. Mm. But they're kind of different because they've got the whole hive mind and stuff. But the whole idea of like you know being sucked in and so, I don't know. Look, all I'm saying is I really don't like body horror. Fucking all right, guys. Grim <laughs> boys. Each factory is dedicated to a single specialization that colors the outlook of people's lives, working conditions, and values. Somehow the logistic systems will work between factory cities. Somewhere, something is receiving all of these goods. These somehow get redistributed between all of the factory cities. No one sees the fruits of their labour directly. Again, China, but with extra steps. Yeah. Men are still drafted and sent to battle. Uniforms are always changing as part of adapting to enemy strategies. But the new uniforms are only issued to fresh recruits. Those that return alive, maimed and broken, tell stories of terrible conflicts with savage monsters. The truth is, they're often directed against the fortified camps and battlements of their peers. The constantly changing uniforms serve to keep everyone confused and killing each other in frantic fear. See, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't bother sending people back. If it was me in charge of this mega factory, mm-hmm. what I would do is all all the bodies, anyone that's even not useful anymore, they're going in the blender, so they are. They're mm-hmm. going in, like, the bio soup. <laughs> and they're, getting, they're, get, they're getting repurposed for something else. What was that movie? They're going to be made into soap. Yeah, what is it? Soylent Green, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Soylent Green, where they turn all... Yeah, something along those lines. What are some factories we can come up with? Meatworks. Has a pig thing. Sea of viscera and gore in excess. Piles of meat on conveyor belts. Lakes of blood, organs and viscera picked through by harvesters for anything of value. 
not even hiding that humans are often fed into the machinery. Some machine- I've seen live, live like I've seen too many <laughs> live like videos yeah. again trying to with extra steps. <laughs> yes. Oh, do you guys know live like got shut down for that? What? Yeah, live like stuck gone. What am I gonna do when I'm bored now? <laughs> Where are you gonna watch gore videos? I don't the know. World Star Phil <laughs> I don't know, it might be. Not even hiding that humans are often fed into the machinery, some machines scan people based on nutritional value and gains they'd make as a burger <laughs> and access if they'd be better in food than on the line as butchers, all in a second. Enormous flabby pale creatures with spidery limbs and enormous gnashing mouths are cut up and pushed into different blenders. All look different and nobody ever gets a clear look at what these things are. Guards are hideous pig-like mascots. Honestly, see any form of animals, see like the word chicken and mm-hmm. factory should never be in the same sentence mm-hmm. ever. My dad, whenever he was younger, um, he worked as an engineer Yeah. and he got called into like an, is it an abattoir? I think called, so, yeah. Where they like slaughter animals. Yeah. They, he got called in to like fix the ventilation or something yeah. like that and he said it was like in the middle of July like, so he's way up in the. He's uh, way up. Yeah, he says, like a big like, it's warehouse. A massive warehouse. Yeah. So he's like way up in the rafters fixing the ventilation, and um, he says the smell was horrendous because like the fridges and freezers and all were cut out, so everything was rotten. Everything oh. was going down. It was really bad. And the next minute, in comes this massive like truck, like yeah. a big lorry truck, like an eighteen wheeler. I don't know what it's yeah. called in America. And so they're hanging out in the rafters and they're watching. They're not meant to be seeing this. Yeah. And then out comes um, like six or seven forklifts with chains on it. Yeah. To try and pull this thing from the back of the the lorry. Yeah. And he said all you heard was the revving of the forklifts to try and pull it because it was mm. that heavy. And they were like, what is it? What is it? So they were watching. Next one, a fucking dead elephant came out. Jesus Christ. And they cut up the feet of the dead elephant. They cut the feet off the dead elephant. Um, and they took the elephant, the rest of the body of the elephant away to use yeah. for meat. I don't oh know where God. they were using that. But they kept, a fella then came in after in a black car yeah. and took the feet away. And well, later on... like stills or something? Well, later on, um, my dad asked one of the men, you always seen that? What's, what's the feet being used for? And he goes, they get like... You know, is it petrified and stuff? And oh yeah, varnished yeah. and everything. Uh, like the monkey hands that they used for like ashtrays well, and stuff. They were using them for ashtrays. Fuck off. They were selling them for ashtrays. Big fucking elephant feet. Why are people like this? Like that's a bit of it. That, that was a good side touch. It was another time. Me. He, <laughs> the um, he had to go back to it, uh-huh. and the plumbing had stopped so the floor was covered in like bloods and guts and oh. shit and whatever else and next minute there was about six or seven guys in the warehouse trying to fix yeah. whatever it was and he was there and then next minute there was just screaming this uncontrollable uh-huh. screaming and people running oh, through the warehouse that's like something like and they were like movie. my dad at this stage was only like 17 he was like what the fuck is happening and he looked and this massive bull was charging in through the warehouse <laughs> and he he just remembers legging it and jumping over like this fence bit mm. but whenever he whatever he jumped over it was like a pull and he ended oh. up being neck deep in like blood and shit oh. and guts while this bull just charged through like absolutely hammered anything <laughs> that's way i would almost rather be killed by a bull so would i <laughs> so would i yeah, let, let, uh, let's move on. Look, let's get back into this. But yeah, animals in factories are not nice at all. Fashion <laughs> has a moth slash doll thing. Enormous spidery robot creatures threading tons of clothing together. Models are picked at random through a lottery. By the end of the process, corpses look more alive than they do. Limbs removed to be more customizable. Hair removed to be adjustable with wigs. Skin changeable with plastic molds. Spidery, fashionable guards with jittery movements. Business class suits are armoured and have a good range of weird shit built into them. Honestly, that might actually be better than what we've currently got <laughs> using Chinese and Indian slave labour. Uh, kids as well. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> I think you that... buy something from Primark and on the label it says help me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Technology has an oil thing. Literal war with native people for vast amounts of resources. Only a fraction of these resources are actually used to create products that quickly become redundant. Create surveillance equipment, TVs, 
weird latest devices type technology. Employees are watched constantly. Oh, it's Amazon. <laughs> it's Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah, this one already exists. I know this one. <laughs> Guards are young, well-dressed weirdos. We'll use wacky technology <laughs> to shred PCs in a variety of ways. Yeah, that's that's just Amazon to me. Mm. Do you guys see it's that? It's either word? Amazon or Facebook headquarters. Yeah. And all you see is Mark Zuckerberg coming in on one of those electric scooters, no, scooters staring at people. I imagine Mark Zuckerberg would definitely be, for me, he would be on a, what do you call them? A Segway. Segway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, so are you looking to spice up your game night? Do you need some orcs to raid your camp? Do you need some elephants to suck out your brains? Do you need some undead to rise from the graves? What about a dragon to slap down in the table and fuck up your players with? Or if you prefer a frost giant or a manticore, we got them. It's a lot more fun than dropping rocks in your players' heads. Or maybe you just want short stacks, cause we know you love them. (laughs) We have such an expansive range of fantasy options and we're currently trying to expand into not 40k. Also, if models isn't your thing, go check out our subclasses. There's loads of stuff there that you might find interesting. But go ahead and check it out. Links are all down below. And let's get back into the video. In China... Hey, we finally got there. (laughs) In China, children born from Go professionals are tested at very young ages for an attribute of the game. And if shown a high level of proficiency at their age, they are then taken from their parents and raised in closed off communities where they study Go for 14 hours each day instead of an academy. Does that not already exist? What's Go? Go is that, you know, the wee counter game, I think, isn't it? Oh, you know yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Apparently it's Honestly, actually... I'm not fucking smart at Apparently uh, Go is supposed to be a lot more technical than chess and stuff, apparently. Oh. So, I don't know. The Chinese love it. It's a really big game over there. They will play dozens of games every week. Wait, hold on. Did This is just... Russia did this, though, with chess, did they not? Yeah, probably. Yeah. With strict records kept and their rank and skills evaluated. The children are taught to be as cutthroat as possible, since the children of the lowest ranks are dropped from the schools and instead enlisted in factories to pay off the tuition fees they accrued while at the school, with the minimum fees requiring 10 years. God. Again, that's just IRL. <laughs> that's yeah. university. Oh my god, I'm actually going to sound like the biggest communist ever by the end of this video. <laughs> but look, guys, it's kind of true. You don't need to be a communist to also notice the Tommy thing. the commie in the comments going, Yes, yes, <laughs> children, come to the dark side. <laughs> the best of the best of the best who have survived this school all the way to the age of 18 must now fight for rank in the professional sphere against veterans judged solely by their rank and who have no inclination of mercy towards any new batch of novices, since any such loss would likely be the end of their own careers. Somewhere there is a game being played between a middle-aged Chinese veteran, one loss away from ending his own life, rather than being forced to resign as a professional goal player and be sent to a factory to pay off his ever-increasing debts, callously crushing the lowest-ranked novices who likewise is considering suicide since he's staring at the face of what he's to become in only a few years time in a best case scenario. In their very first professional match. A match that has no attendance. You know, the thing is, I can see this actually becoming real. You know, okay, I know the idea of it being like a useless game or whatever, Mm -hmm. but when you think about it, like, how long will it be before AI controls everything and all advancements in human technology is just dumbed through AI. Yeah. That we won't need to do anything, so it makes us useless yeah. vessels almost. Yeah. How many people like you know will change their life goals? You know, because whenever that. everything's abundant, you don't need to work, mm-hmm. everyone has like, you know, a very Star Trek esque mm-hmm. existence. Would more and more people like you know, like look at the Eldar from forty K, where okay, they did Leech fuck a chaos god into existence, but you know they all did turn into like artisans or you know a craft or yeah. a certain aspect. Who knows? Maybe we're all going to become speedrunners at fucking Super Mario or some <laughs> shit. I don't know. Like I'm just I'm I'm just kind of like. What do you there. mean become? <laughs> what I already am. <laughs> <laughs> True, I suppose. What exists in the upper classes takes the form of psychopathic yuppies. In theory, they run portions of the factories. Constantly up to date with the latest surgery, garnish fashion or weird device. Spend their days doing slash banal shit slash attending parties slash hunting staff for sport 
slash networking. All of them aren't recognizably human anymore. Right, this thread's supposed to be about fantasy, not reality, guys. <laughs> I've had, like, you know, like, like, come on here. We all know the Queen's wearing a skin suit at this point. <laughs> you know, how many, like, you know, like, Zuckerberg, I see you. And we see you. We, everyone like, sees everyone you. knows you. Or is he a decoy to make everyone think? Because, like, you know, like, I like to think that Mark could afford a better skin suit at this point. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? Like, you know, who, what famous person is definitely in the skin suit and only has to pretend to still be human like? John like, Travolta. He, John Travolta, yes. <laughs> His face is melting fast. <laughs> John fucking Travolta. John Travolta, yeah, he needs to get off the plastic <laughs> surgery. I don't know, he shouldn't have sold his soul to Hollywood. <laughs> Maybe. Centuries ago, attempts were made to extract yet more value from each employee. Modifications to the genome started off grounded. Less sleep, more dexterous hands, greater focus and the like. Initial success spurred on more dramatic changes. Production of goods from the employees' own bodies was the holy grail of modification. Wool, luxurious fur or skin, glands filled with chemical bliss they would never feel. Anything that could be clipped off, sheared away, or extracted with a needle, with a regularity, was preferred. There are entire populations of these mutants. I know, mate, it's called the UK. <laughs> it's called England. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 in Bombland. <laughs> so, there are entire populations of these mutants, in varying degrees of separation from the human baseline, who couldn't survive outside their own factories and habitats. <laughs> Again, or UK. Okay. I don't know you guys seen English tourists on holiday in Spain. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> or have been led to believe all of humanity is like them. James, you can't say shit. What? We went to Poland yeah. with a Polish person. Yeah. And... Instead of even trying, like, I, 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 I learned how to say, like, hello, how are you, yeah. and all this in Polish. James walks into his shop to get cigarettes, and he goes, here, mate, get a 20 deck, would you? <laughs> and we're outside, absolutely howling. I, but look, he knew what I was on about, though, it didn't matter. No, he didn't, he tried to give you 20 packets of cigarettes. No, that was a different one, that was a different one. I just pointed out, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that one's there, sweet, no sweat. <laughs> sweet, no sweat. Ah, uh, there you go. See you, bye. Make a big deal. I'm You're the most, I'm just... You are the most uncultured person I've <laughs> ever met in my entire life. Yeah, maybe I'm like, you know, I, I, even whenever we went to Spain, I tried to learn a bit of Spanish. James in Spain, right, mate? What about you? <laughs> Good crack, eh? Uh, Get some pink there, son. You, I'm not that bad. And then he complains about Bongland. Okay. <laughs> a long time ago, the various corporations, tired of their constant disagreements. To finally stop their arguments, they created a council that would ensure that everything ran according to design, and that petty squabbles would stop getting in the way of profit. Or maybe it was to ensure compliance to a distant power. It doesn't matter now. The council, 333 in the upper chamber and 333 in the lower, did its job well, and for a very long time, too long a time, the councilmen grew old, but they would not give up their power. So they turned to drugs advanced medicine and anything that would keep them living longer but time kept flowing method after method ceased to work as it once did so councilmen turned to the ultimate solution Ooh, we don't say that anymore. Yeah. mechanical cast it's that would <laughs> mechanical caskets that would let them rule forever yet time kept flowing George George Soros no I'm gonna say to you you're not allowed to do this right <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You're being a very naughty boy, right? <laughs> time out in the corner. Yeah. Every week at the same time, TV screens in various factories burst to life. A catchy jingle plays. The seal of the council, not that anyone knows what it is anymore, shows on the screen. Then it pans to the chambers as they discuss this week's agenda. The councilmen are wheeled in by their faithful mechanical servants. Row after row after row of shuddering, wheezing, sometimes screaming coffins rolled about like on parade. The workers may not know the official name of the building, but they've given it one that fits better than the old one. Hell, those that live near the old council house know to stay away. Even with all their wealth, the councilmen couldn't buy forever. Their bodies still fail them, so their caretakers set out to the world, acquiring fresh organs from the source. The hunt ends fast, the quarry dragged back to the building, for the extraction operation to begin. Those unlucky to survive are put in biological storage, kept awake until their unworthy organs can be put to better use. 
even when all that's left is the brain. The spares are preserved. In the council building, nobody dies. Ooh. Ooh. You know, I do love the idea for this setting. I, you know what it reminds me of? It's 1984 mixed with Wally and Mad Max. <laughs> a wee bit of yeah. Bleed Gunner. Yeah. But like I like, like all of them, so you know it's cool. Um, if you guys are interested, I would I I I would be interested in doing more of this thread. Yeah. But if you guys aren't, you know, it just, it just depends on how you guys receive this. Yeah. You know, I love a good world building thread. I love the concepts. I love the ideas. I feel like this setting is almost a form of steampunk that I could actually enjoy. Yeah. But I enjoy any form of like dystopian nightmare future. Yeah. I think it's really cool. Don't you love that? Sorry, unprofessional. <laughs> unprofessional. But look, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It is a bit different, and we'll be back to doing the odd comer video next week, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> There's plenty out there. <laughs> yeah, we can we can never seem to avoid them. <laughs> but as always, check the links down below to the website, check out the models, the subclasses, the t-shirts, all that good shit. Hit subscribe and check hit out the Facebook. Oh, the yeah, Facebook check out page the Facebook. is actually going really it's big. lit at the minute. Yeah. It's full of goblin porn, but like hey, look. <laughs> like if you guys enjoy a bit of goblin porn then <laughs> like, we, we know exactly where you'd want to go. <laughs> hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.